Our next guest this morning, he is without a doubt North America's foremost female impersonator. His main vehicle is Icons, and this is a show that he's developed where he brings to life the fabulous, famous stars you see behind me of the 20th century, including Marilyn, Julie Andrews, and so many more. In case you haven't seen his show, you are truly missing out on something spectacular. Christopher, thank you so much for being with Tom and I this morning. Hi, Jenna. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Good morning. It's interesting seeing you early on a Friday morning. It's interesting you know, to see me any morning. <laughs> it's 7.30. I know. Oh. All right, Christopher, I, I've been wanting to ask you this for so long. Now, did you just wake up one morning, look in the mirror, and realize that you make a beautiful female? Or how did this all work out? Well, I, I often say I was born this way, which means that as I was coming out of the womb, I saw the lights and started kicking and dancing and singing. So, <laughs> mother wasn't appreciative. <laughs> she went, oh, showbiz, yay. Uh, no, I, it was just something that I, I had actually seen it on television before. Uh, a man by the name of Jim Bailey, who did uh, Barbara Streisand and Judy Garland and Peggy Lee. And I remember as a kid watching him, he was on the Carol Burnett show and a few other things. And I went... Wow, you know, that's something that I would, I kind of dreamt of being a woman, mm -hmm. you know. I didn't want, let's put it this way, I didn't want a sex change. I just wanted to be a woman on stage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I thought, well, if there's somebody who has a career in it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that means I should be able to do it too. So I started, you know, paying attention to any place I could where you would see drag, basically Bugs Bunny. You know, he teaches you everything, you know, <laughs> <laughs> comedy and drag at the same time, you know. So, so Bugs Bunny. Bugs uh, Bunny, yeah. absolutely okay. taught me how to do drag, you know. Yeah. So. Like and now, how many years have you been doing this? Uh, 30 years. Mm -hmm. I started when I, well, how old am I? 38. So I started when I was eight. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Well, I started when I was wink, eight. Wink, wink. Wink, wink, wink. I started when I was 18 years old, mm -hmm. even though I'm going to be 50 this year. I started wow. when I was 18, so 32 you years. You look great. Well, thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. And the Thank women, the doctor. The women. All of the viewers can see the women behind us right now. This is you, Christopher. That's me as Marilyn. Mm -hmm. yeah. You as Marilyn. Hi. You Hi, transform everyone. into these women. It's not just the way you look, but it's your mannerisms and everything. Mm -hmm. And vocal impressions too. The whole mm -hmm. thing. The whole show is all vocal impressions. There's a little bit middle. Hi, mm -hmm. how are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm having a here today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could just listen to you all day. Mm -hmm. Cool. Now, you know, you seem to have so much fun with it too. You really enjoy your work. Right? Yeah, I think. You know, I even say at the beginning of the show, I do a little survey at the beginning of my show to see who comes, to type of people who come and see it. And mm -hmm. I often say, you know, we have gay people, and I go, oh, those are my people. And then I ask for straight people, and I go, oh, I'm so sorry. But we <laughs> hear you're born that way, and you can't help. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> well, for me, it's the same thing. I was kind of born with everything I needed to be. Mm -hmm. this. You know, I mean, could you imagine if I was a six foot four football player, you know, and still wanted to do this? Mm -hmm. I mean, there would be then I'd be Tyler Perry. But <laughs> <laughs> I'd be even richer than I am now. So, you know. well, you, I'm sure you would make it work if that was the case. And now let's talk about Icons, your main vehicle, mm -hmm. your main show. What can people expect in it? Oh, uh, impressions of, of some of the biggest stars of the 20th century. Anyway, everyone from Marilyn Monroe to Carol Channing. She's an old Broadway <laughs> star. Everybody <laughs> loves Julie. Okay. Look, and there's Julie Andrews, a little Julie dear. We sing a little do a me. It's always very sweet and lovely. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, and there's Liza, too. Liza. She says, hi, everybody. It's me, Liza and Nelly. I love Jenny it. cooking. I don't do that anymore. So you know what I love? You, you, you can do Liza's laugh, which is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> does she ever say anything anymore? Mm -hmm. I think she just giggles. Just you know. uh -huh. Now, how did you pick up on all these mannerisms? Did you have to watch these characters over and over? Yeah, I started years ago in, in a show called uh, An Evening at La Cage, which was just a look-alike lip-sync show. So after lip-syncing the girls for, for so long, it kind of gets into your head. You know, and of course, you know, you, you, you have to learn how to do them just by watching movies or, or television or whatever you can, you know, kind of thing. So, and you do it night after night after night, and it's just, all of a sudden, it just, you know, it's second nature to, mm -hmm. you, to mm -hmm. you after a while. It sticks. Did yeah. you ever have to have any voice training to do this? No. Uh, I, I started singing as a child. I was an, uh, a young actor, too, as a male actor as a child. Mm -hmm. and, and I sang in church choir and school choir, mm -hmm. and that's it, you know. 
Natural talent, I guess, is mm -hmm. what they call it. You mm -hmm. know, I just had a natural talent to be able to do it. Born this so, way. Yeah, born, born this way. This way. Okay, Good now, Lord. how about Key West? How did you end up here in Key West, Christopher? A friend of mine, I was working up in Toronto. I'm Canadian. Because mm. <laughs> <laughs> of the Canucks in the house, I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. Um, and uh, 14 years ago, they opened a club here called Divas. It's now called Aqua. And a friend of mine was part owner of it and he said why aren't you working in the states he said i don't know anybody he said send me down a disc and sal the owner of the place brought me in for an eight-week engagement and 14 years later i'm still working in key west <laughs> which is great i'm very grateful you know mm -hmm. i mean it's been most i i've lived here longer than i've lived any place else in my life wow. even with my parents mm -hmm. you know so i mean that's pretty cool i mean that's a pretty good you mm -hmm. know are pretty you good here? run are you here for the long run not leaving key west you know what i i think sometimes you just you let you if they say you let faith mm -hmm. take you where the the wind blows you mm -hmm. well bloom any key west and mm -hmm. i certainly do love it here you know that our our slogan is one human family and mm -hmm. it really does feel like that don't you think mm -hmm. Tom? i oh, think yeah. that's what makes me stay mm -hmm. you know i'd love to move to a big city and have a bigger career maybe in in television well, who needs a bigger career in television? Here we are on TV already. <laughs> That's right. You've got your career. You know, and now, saying. we're also going to be showing our viewers mm. a small clip of yes. a film you just did, mm. Rat Race. Mm. Well, I, didn't, I did it actually in 2001, I think it mm -hmm. was. And it was a remake of an old film called It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. And it's Rat Race. It stars Whoopi Goldberg and John Cleese and Cuba Gooding Jr. and Seth Green. Anyways, I, I do a little stint in it uh, as dressed as Lucille Ball next to Cuba Gooding Jr., mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. which is great. And so his we'll Lucille Ball is that. dead on. Wow. <laughs> 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 oh, and now, the big thing is this mm. weekend, for Labor Day weekend, you have some mm -hmm. shows coming. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I'm on Fridays and Saturday nights uh, at La Tida. Uh, which is 1125 Duval Street. Uh, they can pick up tickets either at the box office or call 296-6706. Uh, upstairs at the Crystal Room at 9 o'clock. And I'll be doing, I think we're doing Marilyn Monroe and Carol Channing and Joan Rivers. Oh, little Joan Rivers. I love it. Oh, I sure. love it. <laughs> and also Bette Midler, Tina, the whitest teen attorney you ever saw in your whole life. <laughs> and Liza and Judy, of course. You know, mother mm. and daughter. Got to do the big girls. Oh, and a little Gaga. We put mm. a little Gaga in the show. A little now. Gaga. A little Gaga. You can't have a mm. show without That's her. That's right. It's a little Gaga. Uh, She's the new one. Mm. <laughs> do you poke her face? Uh, we do Botox face. Botox face. Oh, yes. we okay. do a little plastic surgery <laughs> spoof on her. So. Well, thank you so much, Chris, for sharing all this information with the viewers and for letting us display your beautiful women that thank you turn you, into. Thank <laughs> Nice to meet you, darling. Of course, and you can check out Chris and, this weekend at Lati. And, La and welcome back. Thank yeah. you, Tom. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. All right, we're going to take a quick break right now. We're going to leave you with a quick clip from the movie Rat Race. How's it going, Captain? So far, so good. A pit stop. Sorry, this is a one-way flight. There's a bathroom in the back. The latch is broken. Anybody could just come in. So what? You ain't got nothing the other Lucy's haven't seen already. <laughs> Not necessarily. Ah!